Tonight, populism begets narcissism, narcissism begets fascism, but will fascism lead to accountability? Stay tuned. Also, also tonight, tonight, we found an, an actual, actual bird that looks just, just like the poop flinging orangutan. So, so guess, guess what our, our first repeating desk bit is? And also tonight, I suppose we should be glad he didn't stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot someone just to see if he'd lose voters. Yet. Yeah, I don't really have a bit for that. I just wanted to see my gorgeous face on this giant jumbotron. It's huge. You probably clicked this looking for the end of a long national nightmare, but instead you've landed on the cold bear report. Special report. Farewell, mother trucker. <laughs> For tonight, I mean continent. Welcome to a special edition of the report, again with a hard T at the end because this bear is taking no prisoners. Tonight, we quickly run through the last five years of trauma that those northern Mexicans south of Canada have gone through after nearly half of them accidentally elected a poo-flinging orangutan known as Donald J. Trump. <clears throat> so let's start off with a special impeachable edition of Bird. <laughs> Tonight's bird is Golden Peasant. That's an actual photo. Continent, the biggest surprise isn't that this bozo got impeached, screwed the pooch on COVID crisis management for a whole year, left the economy in shambles, managed to be only a one-term president, or even that Trumpism has replaced laissez-faire as the absolute worst management style ever. Continent, I'm still gobsmacked the Republicans ever let him put in his candidacy. I mean, shouldn't there be a more difficult test to run for the President of the United States than there is to prove you're not senile? Yeah. That's it. That's the bit. I really just wanted to share this pic of the bird that looks just like him. <laughs> and that's tonight's bird. He was the most dangerous of chief executives, a stubborn, mistaken ideologue whose principles held no room for compromise. In his betrayal of the National Trust, he came closer to committing treason than any other president in American history. Guess what, Continent? That's from Gene Baker's 2004 biography of 15th President James Buchanan, who until 2020 was consistently ranked the worst president in America's history. Say what you will about the Donald, and most have, unless an actual four-year-long civil war breaks out, he's not the worst president America's ever had. Maybe a close second. Actually, since more Americans have died from his mismanagement of COVID in just 10 months rather than four years, never mind. Continent, normally I like to cross-cut what people say to make them look ridiculous, but tonight we're just gonna let the baboon speak for himself and let you decide. Jimmy? Once upon a time, there was a guy with a big ego and little brains. There are those that think I'm a very stable genius, okay? I watch my words very, very closely. Who knew a lot about the military? Jimmy manned the airport. It ran the ramparts. It took over the airports. It did everything it had to do. Well, the movie version, anyway. They said, well, sir, you can't see it. I said, yeah, but in a fight, you know, a fight like I watch on the movies. A fight, they're fighting. How good is it? They say, well, it wins every time because the enemy cannot see it. Even if it's right next to it, it can't see it. He's not a war hero. He's a war hero. He's a war Five hero. And a half years He's a war PSW hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. <laughs> Do you He's agree with that? 
He was a gracious loser, provided that means whiny baby with tiny body parts. He hit my hands. Nobody has ever hit my hands. I've never heard of this one. Look at those hands. Are they small hands? <laughs> and he referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. He was a family man. I don't think Ivanka would do that inside the magazine, although she does have a very nice figure. So now when you leave your farm or small business to your children on the assumption that you like your children, some people don't. Some people say, I wouldn't leave it to them. Under any circumstances, I can't stand my kids. Sometimes. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. He was a man of letters. And I'm writing a book. I think I wrote 12 books. All did very well. Well, ghostwritten letters. Wrote a book called The Art of the Deal. Did everybody read The Art of the Deal? We needed a leader who had read The Art of the Deal because this bozo clearly hadn't. We need a leader that wrote The Art of the Deal. He was modest. I was a good builder. I built good. I love building. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. Part of the beauty of me is that I'm very rich. A total net worth of eight billion, net worth, not assets, not liability, a net worth. Because it's, it's a fantastic financial statement. A real humanitarian who cared about others. Yes. If you get a cough, please yes. leave the room. Unless they lived on an island. Every death is a horror. But if you look at a real catastrophe like Katrina, and you look at the tremendous hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that died. And what is your what is your death count as of this moment? 17? 16 certified. 16 people certified. Someone who never repeated baseless conspiracies. President Obama is the least transparent president in the history of this country. And if he gives his passport applications and records, I will give to a charity of his choice, inner city children in Chicago, American Cancer Society, AIDS research, anything he wants, a check immediately for $5 million. I really don't know. I don't know why he wouldn't release his records. According yeah. to you, it's not true. I don't know. You know, if, if you believe that, that's fine. I don't care. It's an old subject. Or delivered on any promises. I will be the greatest jobs president that God ever created. I tell you that. He said he was a nice person. But Mr. Trump, you're not a nice person. We don't need nice. That's true. But actually I am. I think I am a nice person. I mean, I'm actually a nice person. But mostly he wasn't. If I were running The View, I'd fire Rosie. I mean, I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. I'd say, Rosie, you're fired. He knew his geography. Nambia's health system is increasingly self-sufficient. English was a whole other matter. Our canine, as they call, I call it a dog. A beautiful dog. A talented dog. He loved the environment. We've ended the war on beautiful, clean coal. And it's just been announced that a second brand new coal mine where they're going to take out clean coal, meaning they're taking out coal, they're going to clean it is opening or geography we think i support the great lakes always have they're beautiful they're big very deep record deepness right surrounded by water big water ocean water except when it lowered the value of the golf courses if you have a windmill anywhere near your house congratulations your house just went down 75 percent in value <laughs> and they say the noise causes cancer you tell me that one okay <laughs> you know the thing makes it so you'd be doing wind windmills and if it doesn't if it doesn't blow you can forget about television for that night Darling, I want to watch television. I'm sorry. The wind isn't blowing. I know a lot about wind. I know a lot about wind. He practiced medicine or housekeeping. We're not sure which one this was. The disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by 
injection inside or or almost a cleaning because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs so it'd be interesting to check that so that you're gonna have to use medical doctors with but it sounds it sounds interesting to me you always believe the weaker guy i like china i just sold an apartment for 15 million dollars to somebody from china oh we have our team right now in china they just arrived china china we've gone up they've gone down but we want them to be healthy mexico is the new china i would build a great wall and nobody builds walls better than me believe me and i'll build them very inexpensively i will build a great great wall on our southern border and i will have mexico pay for that wall mark my word total cost to mexico of the wall yeah. mexico will pay you mark my words i win mexico pays Total spent on the wall, 18.4 billion on 450 miles of 1,954 miles needed. When do we beat Mexico at the border? They're laughing at us. Mexico doesn't want people. They're forcing them into our country and we're taking them and we're putting them in our jails and our hospitals and we're paying them money through different sources. It's a disgrace. Mexico does not like us. Mexico is not our friend and they're not sending us their best and their finest. You heard my speech. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. They love me, I love them. And I'll tell you something, if I get the nomination, I'll win the Latino vote. I will win it. He made many empty threats. And I can tell you, some of the candidates they went in, they didn't know the air conditioner didn't work. They sweated like dogs. They didn't know the room was too big because they didn't have anybody there. How are they gonna beat ISIS? Nobody would be tougher on ISIS than Donald Trump. I would take away their wealth. I would take away the oil. I would bomb the hell out of those oil fields. I wouldn't send many troops because you won't need them by the time I got finished. No, no, let me, there is no Iraq. There is no Iraq. But he sucked up to bullies. I love the Saudis. Many are in this building. And bullied allies. He couldn't get a single quote right. The buck stops with everybody. And occasionally mistook the word compliance for kindergarten in a briefing. My intelligence people, if they said, in fact, that Iran is a wonderful kindergarten, I disagree with them 100%. He was Russian owned. I would get along with Putin. I've dealt with Russia. Just so you know, the call was perfect. The real call, the call I made. The Democrats have to now decide whether they will continue defrauding the public with ridiculous bullshit. <laughs> and after three years of lies and smears and slander, the Russia hoax is finally dead. The collusion delusion is over. Total exoneration complete vindication and all of the current and former officials who paid for, promoted and perpetuated the single greatest hoax in the history of politics in our country. A bizarre old president who always said the opposite of truth. Some of the most dishonest people in media are the so-called fact checkers. They call themselves the elite. You ever see the elite? This is the elite. They're not elite, you're elite. And defended racist. I'm not putting anybody on a moral plane. What I'm saying is this, you had a group on one side and you had a group on the other and they came at each other with clubs and it was vicious and it was horrible. There was a group on this side, you can call them the left, you've just called them the left, that came violently attacking the other group. So you can say what you want, but that's the way it is. Excuse me, to protest, Excuse me. Me. Protest. Protest. and you had some very bad people in that group. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. He rarely told the truth. The farmers are my best friend. We have our own Jackie-O today. It's called Melania. Melania. <laughs> we'll call it Melania T. USMCA, like the song YMCA, right? I think Canada's happy, but they're not happy like we're happy, but they're very happy. If you really love this country, you have a very, very hard time convincing people that 
what you're doing is right and that you're really smart. And like a lot of us are really smart. I'm really smart. But at least that sort of thing would never happen here, right? So you put out a video this weekend to that effect, talking about what you term uh, a Canada first economic policy. Is that different than what Donald Trump says is America first? No, it's not different at all. In fact, there's more self-sufficiency. We we're doomed. Brought to you by Coveve. For when granddad's had a stroke and this is the best you can do. Well, Continent, we're almost out of time, but we've barely scratched the surface of stupidity that is Donald Trump. Can you believe I'm a politician? I can't even... He only got one thing right. Yeah, a lot of things are a matter with me. We can have a lot of fun tonight. I have nothing to do. Nothing. Nothing! Well, maybe two. We'll be right back. Does anyone else feel like they need a prolonged shower? Ugh. Well, Continent, that's all for this Colbert Report special report. Farewell to the poo-flinging Mother Trumper. Take care, stay safe, and watch out for wildlife on the roads! Every once in a while, you meet a new star. I know a lot about stardom. I know a lot about it. I've made plenty of them. Who does it?